Hi guys, this is Nadia from Ibani Crafts and today I want to show you how to make these stars as part one of my gothic heart earrings. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button because I upload new stuff on a regular basis. I quite often make kits and PDF tutorials for the videos I put up on here and I'll pop a link in the description below. Um, I also have all sorts of gemstones, square and half round wire, some beads and all sorts of other goodies on my website. So take a gander over and see if there's anything you fancy. Last but not least, come and join us in our uh, wire wrappers and metal smiths group on Facebook. I'll also pop a link below. Right, let's get started. So to do these earring wires, I usually cut two wires, same length. Um, and I'm going to do the ear wires at the same time so that I keep them as symmetrical as possible. For this I've used uh, at the moment 0 0.8 which is your 20 gauge but one gauge lower would probably be better because not everybody's got the large earlobe. So what I'm going to start off with with the end if you have an ultra flush cutter bring these in and make a nice fine cut and I also like to bring in a jeweler's file just to make sure that any sharp edges come off you get the tools that are like bezel cups which you can use as well and just will round off the edges you really don't want anything sharp near earlobes so before you do anything um, make sure that it's nice and smooth the next step is use some round nose pliers what I recommend doing is you mark your pliers with a cokey pen um, as we call it in South Africa or as it's widely known everywhere else a mark pin it doesn't really help that it's black is it can't see that too well so I mark it here so that you make the loops the same size all the time so I'm going to grab the end and I'm just wrapping this around so I'm creating this small loop this is where you attach whatever design you're going to make um, and next I'm just going to create a bend in it so again I'm using my round nose pliers for that or you can use the very fine tipped pliers um, watchmaker pliers if you have any so pull this nice and straight like that so we've got essentially what is a um, I don't think an o-ring hook or something like that some people use it for um for attaching things to earrings as well so i'm grabbing a i think a two mil bead will be enough i think that will fit nicely into that like so so that looks okay so you can use a bigger bead if you wanted to as well that works all right and next i'm going to cut a small piece of 0 0.4 millimeter wire which is um, your 28 gauge and I'm just going to create wrapped loops you can make it as long or as short as you want to just going to trim this off and then to make sure that it's nice and tidy I'm going to unwrap some obviously count the amount of wraps you do so that you have the same on each side so that is the detail attached and next we're going to make a very fine sharp bend just above this loop we've just created nice sharp 90 degree bend like that and if you have any of these bail making pliers, you can use these. If not, you can use anything that has approximately, I don't know, I think this is about five, six mil wide. You can use that. I'm um, not sure which size I'm going to use. I think I'm going to go with the smaller one. So you wedge it in place and then simply roll the wire around it like so and then we're going to cut off you can leave it as long or as short as you want to 
and again obviously come in with the file and just tidy that up and then all you're going to do is just attach the ear wire to the design you've just made and the way I do this obviously I'm sure most people know but for those that are new to it you go sideways rather than opening it downwards as that distorts the loop and then we're just going to put that in there and then close it off again and the, the ball will help to keep the wire and that is how you make these super easy to make um, and they're quite handy if you don't have any available at the moment you can just make them yourself and that's that hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button because i upload new stuff on a regular basis if you fancy come and visit us on our artist group on facebook it's called wire wrappers and metal smiths worldwide and we're a great fun bunch so come and join us as i mentioned earlier i have all sorts of kits gemstones and tutorials on either my website or my etsy shop so go and visit the link below and see if there's anything you fancy last not but least um come and visit me on any of my social media i've got um, instagram facebook TikTok, and obviously youtube um as always there's links below and um yeah that's it for me thank you so much for watching